right. What is up, Amalette? It's me, Emma Jane, Emma Jane TV, and we are here to do Wecky Mecky Oopsie. So sorry, I just but it was it was it was it was it was, it was like ready to come out until it came out. I think I've got another one. Right. We I, I think it's out now I feel much better, it's less painful. So we are going to do Wecky Mecky Oopsie in three, two, one, go go. I don't know what to expect. If I'm correct, they're in the same label as as Vix, right? And people were complaining, oh jellyfish entertainment is not is is ignoring the girl groups and always focusing on Vix, but Vix is in, in the military right now, so and I and I know that Hombing left Vix. I was I feel was feeling sad about that actually. Oh she's really pretty. They're all really pretty, like look at that makeup, it really looks so pretty on them. What I like about the again, I would say that the Korean makeup is so natural, it's not too much. I think in this country, especially if those girls are, what's that called again? Uh, the chav that puts so much makeup, it looks ugly on them. No offense. They should check these makeup because they look so pretty on them, and it's just natural, just pretty. It's just, it just really goes. Look. Even the eyebrows, some of them don't even have eyebrows and when they do the eyebrows, it just looks so natural. She's very pretty, the one with the short hair. She looks, I don't know if it's me, she looks a little bit like Jihyo from um, Twice, but short hair version of it. Oh, she's pretty as well. I mean, they're all very pretty. Sorry, this is the wrong group. Sorry, I was confusing with this group with, with Google Dan. Sorry, wrong group. I don't believe. Yeah, this is a different label. Sorry, my bad. I got. I actually. I I, I think I know why because um, I think some of these members from Wacky Mecky and Google Dan actually were part of IOI, the first generation of of the participant that actually won the. The what's it called again? Pro produce one on one. That's why I've got confused. That's why I confused. Confu got confused. Sorry about that. Yeah, they're not. They're not uh, under jellyfish. I wish they were because she's very pretty. She's got big eyes. I mean, again, having big eyes is never ugly. I think they're very beautiful because it's it has a big statement there. And this goes to show that not all Koreans have tiny little slight eyes. I mean, they have some, but majority of them have like big eyes and they look very pretty on them. Ooh, they're like eight members there. I like them. I like them. They're, they're very playful with with uh, with that uh, they're very the visuals are ridiculously pretty they're very gorgeous looking women very pretty so that was wacky mickey oopsie that again I, like i said before they're very very they're f having fun in the music video they're they're all visuals they're all visuals there was none ugly they're all visuals and it's a fun video as you could And look, and people were, were, I think there was someone here, again when I mentioned about IOI I got confused with, with Google Dan and, and Wecky Mecky because they're both, uh, they're, I think some of the members were part of IOI so I confused her. There was someone says, I was listening to Somi and Chonka and then I realised that they were, they were in IOI. So I listened to a bunch of IOI songs and I saw Do Young 
So I did a little research and discovered Wacky Mecky and now I am Ultimate them. So then a new Ultimate buys for them. In conclusion. In what conclusion? So yeah, so like I said, there were some members that were part of the uh, Produce 101 and the one Produce 101 and got into IOI. So yeah, there's a lot of groups out there. You got Somi, Chung Somi, then you got Chungha, you have Meki, Weki Meki, and then you have Gugudan. And I know there's other ones as well. Some of them just became actors, actresses as well. So they were all part of IOI. So I really enjoyed this. I actually enjoyed this one. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for me, this is really good. I mean, and of course, because they were on IOI, and you know, when we saw, when I saw IOI, I think they were really good, especially Pick Me Up. That's, that song is still a bop. I don't care what anyone say. When I produce 101, that intro is still the best of the best of any other Produce 101 s intros. That one is pick me, pick me, pick me up. There's still a bop, and I, it's the one of the most catchiest songs ever. Like no one could top that song. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you one is oh, uh, produce 101 second second season was the best. No, it's produce 101 season one. That intro is still a bop. It's I should get that in my playlist, and it's still Jesus, Jesus. Okay, so I love you all, and you and everyone, and Sarangheho.